Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to SmackDown Live. SmackDown, everybody, welcome. Just a couple days out from Monday Night Raw. We we're over there in Detroit, Michigan. That was, a, that was a great time. It was a great time. I barely made it out alive. Yeah, as yeah, I ran away. Ah, what's we doing in Austria? Oh well, you know, we decided to take the red eye. We had to come over and visit Walter. Walter. He's over here. He's hanging out. He's working in the Indies right now. Unfortunately, we're checking out his uh, we're checking out his training, his training little school, wrestling yeah. school. It's That's what we're looking for. Little dojo. Yeah. Well, what's going on here? Well, I guess we've got Breezango. Oh wait, wait, wait. We need to address something here. Last I completely week, forgot. Yeah, yeah. Last week, as always, we had some major unprofessionalism. George, as, as George, George isn't here anymore. George is gone. Because George told us last week was a number one contenders match. That makes no sense, George. Last week, Fandango faced Scott Dawson to choose the stipulation for the number one contenders match. Which, if you look above the ring, you'll see a steel cage. Yeah. That's... I got nothing else to say because, George, yeah, where'd you go, George? I hope you're enjoying the show, George. I hope your EI kicked in, man. Unfortunate, man. Very unfortunate. As Brizango are now in the ring, the cage momentarily will be yeah. on the ground, well, around the ring, I guess. So. As of right now, it's just looming ominously above the ring. Why in the world they chose a steel cage match? I don't know. I feel like Tyler Breeze had a few choice words for Fandango when he said, "We're doing a steel cage." Yeah, I, I just I don't think Fandango cared. He was like, "Yeah, yeah, let's just do a steel cage." But it is what it is. It is what it is. But Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson making their way to the ring. No fists, no flips, just fists. I was about to say, sorry. no fists. If they don't have no fists, then what are they? <laughs> kicks. Just kicks. All kicks. All kicks. <laughs> kick, kick, kick. <laughs> but I mean, I'm going to be honest, I, I, I see a steel cage favoring the Revival more than I do Brizango. 100% as inside a steel cage, Brizango got nowhere to go. And they're just going to be faced with suplexes, punches, kicks, submissions. It's, it's going to be a scary time, but hopefully Fandango knows what he got his team into. The winner of this, of course, goes up to face the bar this Sunday at TLC in exactly that a TLC match yeah and there we go we had the uh, the steel cage lowered around the ring as the action starts and boy is it action action is an understatement as now Dash Wilder suplexing Fandango to the man I'm gonna end up calling them Breezango several times so I apologize in advance that's all right we'll know what you mean I guess oh, oh the chop block. vicious chop block from Dash. We never saw Dash in action yet. This is the first time we've seen him. We've of course seen Tyler Breeze in action multiple times over the, over the past year. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. The longest reigning WWE champion tag team champions in UCB Universe history. Very very dominant. If they end up going against the Bar, oof. You know that would be a WrestleMania rematch. That would be a rematch, and ironically, in the exact same match type. I. Okay. Yeah. That would be another TLC match because. I don't even know if I would be able to comprehend that, but that would be an exact rematch to the T. To the T. Where's Fandango going? I'm not entirely sure. It looks like he's just you realize getting Fandango, straight out of there. If you climb out of the ring here, then you're leaving Tyler Breeze by himself. Wait, maybe... Oh, Astra. I think that's... I, I, I don't think he realizes that. I think he thinks that if one of them leaves, they win. Yeah. Fandango, that's not how this works. That's indeed not how this works. But now here comes Dash Wilder. Ben Neng was out. What is... What is this... What's going on here? I'm not entirely sure. Is Dash Wilder who's right behind him? Yeah, Dash... He's right there. Ben Neng is cheering viciously. 
How long do you think he realizes until this match is still going? I I legit what is Dash doing? He's just scooting his He's just scooting his boot along the top of the cage there. I don't know if it was Tyler Breeze trying to get up there and get hold of Dash, but Scott Dawson sees it beating his knee against the cage. Dash is pretty much over. Do, well, either, do either one of these teams know how, to, how a tag team steel cage match works? I don't think so, as the Revival just had a complete advantage. Two on one handicap against Tyler Breeze. And one half of each team just left the ring. Will somebody, will somebody like please tell these teams what they're at least getting into before the match happens? Because now we're just in a singles match. We're just in a singles cage match. Oh, I think I think Tyler Breeze is telling the ref just open up the door. The match is over. We already won it. I don't think he knows what's happening either. I don't. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Plastic. Because now he's just walking away from the door. The ref took too freaking long to open it. So why not? Why wait? Super kick to the chin. All right. And he's One more time, the door again. Come on, ref. It's just a lock. It's not that hard. You'd be surprised. I did that one time over the summer while we were, you know, not uh, working, and they're really hard to open. I just, I, I kept fumbling with the key, and I just couldn't pick the lock up. Every time I pick it up, I just drop it again. Boy, that must have been nice. You know, being able to do things and experience new stuff faster. I am so sorry that that happened to you. That was a good time, though. I got paid pretty good. I got no words. <laughs> we said... <laughs> I, I got... Tyler Breeze now needs to start climbing out of this ring here. He needs to get out. Scott Dawson is down in the ring while Fandango and Dash Wilder are just watching. They're just watching. I'm still perplexed. Yeah. This was awful communication between management and the teams. It's just everybody has a hole here. Absolutely. Now, Scott Dawson, you got to be careful here. If he accidentally hits Tyler the wrong way, he can just fall over the top and hit the floor. Very much so, but he's, he's smart there. He's pulling him down to the ropes. So now we can start doing some, maybe some flips. Flips? From, from Scott Dawson? No nah. way. He's just going to knock him off and climb over himself. Man... This is, this is, as much as I like seeing a steel cage match, this was a tag team steel cage match. Was. Was. I'm pretty sure that it's been longer with just Scott and Tyler in here, but yeah. Neither Fandang or Dash seem to really be concerned on the outside either. Very, I'm concerned more so with the fact that someone let this match happen as of right now. Fandango, I blame you for this. <laughs> I hope you win for the fact that you nearly costed your team an opportunity at your championships. Yeah, we need to see if Tyler Breeze is now able to get out of the ring here as he's really struggling with his footing, but he finally finds it there. And he's working his way to the top. You see Scott Dawson just completely out of it on the floor, finally stirring, but it might be a little bit too late as Tyler Breeze is dangling. He's trying to get his foot hooked into something here so we can kind of lean over, but it's looking like he's on his way down. There you go. And Scott, Scott just standing in the middle of the ring. He just got to watch now. Well, what do I do now? <laughs> As Breezango, I guess, are headed for a WrestleMania rematch this week in a TLC. What a strange match. I'm concerned. They're, they need to work on their communication, both of these teams. And there you go. You just, Dash just has to watch in defeat. Well, they're very, they're ecstatic. They have the opportunity to regain a championship that, as far as I'm concerned, was stolen from them at WrestleMania. So, I'm excited to see what comes out of this at TLC. I just hope that they work a little bit better. That That's a huge concern of mine right now. Absolutely. Oh, geez. Absolutely. What do we got next? Rowan is making his way to the ring. That's good. I guess so. Pick up some litter on his way, I guess. Let's wait and see what Rowan, or who Rowan is even facing. Don't even know. Don't know what's happening. It's always nice when we don't know. Yeah, it's a little bit of a surprise here. Scheduled for one fall. We know that much. Okay. Thank you, Greg. Good, thank you. At least somebody knows how to do their job. <laughs> Unlike us. Unlike us. 
Yeah. That's Rowan. That's Rowan. That is Rowan. And now... Oh, okay, okay. His opponent... We will bask in his glory. Gentlemen in the... Oh. For he is limitless. For he is limitless. I almost Continue. cut off his own Continue. slogan. I was going to say, we just kind of got spoiled a little bit because there's someone in the crowd. With a Keith Lee post. Bask in his glory. We got some fans here. Very impressive. That's all right, but this does make sense here. Of course, these two were partners on the SmackDown Survivor Series team. Two of the three coming out victorious, the aforementioned, or sorry, not even the mentioned, the aforementioned or anything, but Ciampa, of course, being the team captain. Yep. And uh, he had a match last week there. Let's see. I, I, I don't really know where this is going. I'm not entirely sure either, to they, be really They each have, or, the, you know, they have an opportunity at the championship in the future, so I can only assume here Vince McMahon is kind of pitting them against each other here. Seems like it indeed. Some headbutts from Rowan right now, but to kick off the match moments ago, a shoulder tackle from each man, kind of asserting the dominance, but then coming back and the other one asserted their dominance. Very interesting to see how this match is going to work out as it's a battle of two very large men, one of which acts as if he's a cruiserweight. The other one is just a big man. He's just a big, angry man who doesn't mind throwing his opponent around the ring here, but a man like Keith Lee, you gotta work a little bit harder to get him. He has a, he has a little bit more girth. Ah. ah. We'll leave that one there. That's Keith Lee Literally going for a springboard. Hitting the ankles of Eric Rowan. They're not quite getting as much as he wanted, but I feel like something. I feel like Rowan might have ducked a little bit on that one just so that Keith Lee couldn't quite fully connect. Hitting with the dropkick, though, didn't duck out of the way of that one. No. Too much girth. Oh boy. Kick to the gut from Rowan. Elbow to the face from Keith. And now some stomps in the corner as Keith Lee is showing he's got what it takes to take Rowan down in this one. As of right now, I believe Keith Lee only has that one victory from Survivor Series as part of that team. Pinning is. Rey Mysterio and... I believe Jinder Mahal. Don't 100 percent sure. Quite remember, but I don't think Keith, Keith Lee remembers much there right now as he went for a springboard, spinning DDT, and just hit the ground. Hard, very hard. Yeah. As now Rowan showing that he's in control of this match, contrary to Keith Lee thinking that he might be. But then Rowan says it's my match now. Oh, the military press slam. Watch out, ref. Watch out. Come on, you gotta get out of the way when you have a man as girthy as Keith Lee barreling down on top of you. You gotta watch yourself. The referees, I find, I don't know who we hired this year, but like, they don't know where they're supposed to be. I miss Mike Kyoto. I miss Charles Robinson. I miss Drake Younger. Where are these people? That's a good question. That is. Oh, just... Both men just bump into each other. I think Keith Lee was going for something on the rope. Oh dear. What is this move from Keith Lee? I saw somebody from Egypt hit that move once. It was wild. Someone from Egypt? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, he was... His name is very under wraps, though. So, I mean, I can't really... I can't really talk too much about it. Was this one of those... Weird... Couch battle videos that I see you watching from time to time? No, man. That was a... That's a pro wrestling league. Don't worry about it. But we had a beautiful moon and saw from Keith Lee. Oh, a headbutt of his own to Eric Rowan. You don't want to get in a headbutt contest with this man. Apparently, he does. Apparently, he does. I hear that that, that wrestling league actually has a really good divas uh, division. If you say so. But two vicious chops from Keith Lee in the corner. I, I don't want to be Eric Rowan here right now. Did Keith Lee tell him to bring it. Very impressive show of offense as he went for the oh. the chops again and kick to the gut from Rowan. There you go. Gloating a little bit too much. Keith Lee getting cocky. Eric Rowan is not one for that. He does not care for showboating. He's just here to hurt you. Yep. He's just going to scream at you and then hurt you. And then crush your head between his fists. Because that's something that Eric Rowan does. He gets, he gets joy from this. He does. It's terrifying. I, there's one guy backstage that I, if I see him coming, I'm turning around and walking the other way. 
But then he's behind me, so I don't know if that's a good idea either. Yeah, I'm just going to duck underneath <laughs> the nearest table that I can find. Oh, there we go. Finally, those double chops connecting on Eric Rowan. Uh, Keith Lee showboating once more as, as Rowan's getting to his feet. Might not have been smart. Definitely not smart. Blocked from, from Rowan here. Beautiful nice slam. body slam once more from Eric Rowan as he's getting Keith Lee to his feet here. We gotta try to build off that momentum. Beautiful spinning heel kick. Signature heel kick from Rowan and now going for the oh. iron claw. That's gotta be it. No, he's not done with Lee yet. Just one final kick to the head. Alright, Keith Lee. Not quite not quite what he wanted to see here tonight. But Eric Rowan walks away with a, a pretty uh, substantial victory. Yeah, very much so. Unfortunate for Keith Lee. Now 0-2 in singles competition. That he is does not look good for him here. But Eric Rowan standing tall in the match. So, oh, we got we got Chompa running down to the ring here. He just ran past us like lightning. My God. Just a quick clothesline to the back of the head and a kick as well. My I God, <laughs> maybe alluding to next week. Okay. I I can only assume that we've seen most of them in action here so far. That got to be something. I don't even I don't even know. I I'm not entirely sure either. But what I do know I, is our graphics guy. I just realized something, Astro. I'm, I'm sorry. Don't okay. cut you off there. Rowan and Chompa faced each other last week, and Eric Rowan beat Chompa. So I guess that's that's why that happened. Oh, Carl Anderson also running past us like a lightning bolt. We need to pay attention here. But what were you saying about those graphics? Um, so it turns out that George, George, who's also our graphics guy, um, who didn't have time to finish the tournament bracket uh, for the United States Championship. Oh. Um before we canned him. I mean, before Vince canned him. Okay. Uh, so, as a FYI, for those of you watching, um, this is for the United States Championship. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Holy cow. A lot just happened there, too. A lot has happened right now as Carl Anderson attacked Akira Tozawa with a steel chair after taking out the referee. Ooh, gotta be careful here, Carl. You there don't want to get yourself disqualified. No, jump uh, Tazawa not even Karen getting right in Carl Anderson's face, just saying, "Don't, don't you look at the referee, D don't, don't put me down like that." Oh man, what, a, what a strange series of five minutes there, Astro. I a very interesting series of events tonight. This has been a very strange week. Of course, we ended oh. raw in a weird way. The lights just went out, and had some weird Mr. Rogers like Mr. Stuff. Rogers stuff happening. I'd still have nightmares about that, by the way. But, and, and then tonight, we've got Tommaso Ciampa attacking Rowan, atta who, who just beat Keith Lee. Tommaso Ciampa and Keith Lee have a history. Rowan and Keith Lee have history. I, I, I don't even know what's happening anymore at this point. As yeah. is the knee to the head from Akira Tozawa. Beautiful standing meteor from Tozawa taking Carl Anderson down on the mat, down to the mat. Sorry, rolling outside here. Let's see. Oh, nope. I thought we were going to see some possible flippy stuff from Tozawa here, but it's Carl Anderson who's going to stop to the top rope. Tozawa very cleverly just running away. Back. Absolutely. Big drop kick here from Carl. As One more time. High flyer Carl Anderson, everybody. High flyer Carl Anderson going for the leg drop, and he hits it. They Carl should Anderson, call him, of course. Uh, they could call him the airstrike Carl Anderson. Oh, instead of the machine gun. That's clever. Yeah, I like see? That. I like that. You should give him the call. Uh, nope. <laughs> Staying away from the OC as much as possible. Eat, sleep, beat up plastic. Repeat. <laughs> That's Brock Lesnar, I think. I because yeah. I think it's eat, sleep, suplex, repeat. I don't know. Man. I, don't, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's also Goldberg. If you want to look at that, the spear, the jacket. Brock Lesnar isn't even here anyway. But Carl Anderson had a little bit of offense there. Tozawa reversed. A little bit of stuff there, but once more, Carl Anderson maintaining control of this match here so far. Got to be careful. I see you looking at the referee there, Carl. He's got him pinned in the corner here. He's got to be very careful. With stop what this. Look at him just tracking the referee like he's a nobody. 
Meanwhile, he's the one who's got all the control in this match to determine who becomes the champion, my friend. You gotta be careful. That he does, you get in his face too much. Once more, going straight back to the referee. Come on now. He's throwing him into the corner, and the ref just a little bit out of it on that one. What he is corner to corner. The referee needs he needs to take control of this match here. If Carl Anderson's gonna keep throwing him around as he is, he needs to call this match. He most certainly does. Kira Tazawa with a stiff punch. What is what is Tazawa doing here? Now he's, he's talking. He's to talking the to the referee. All right, very very interesting series of events here. Oh dear! Tazawa went over as Anderson went in. Very unfortunate. Uh, of course, Tazawa putting on one heck of a show last week against Drew Gulak. Carl Anderson, of course, defeating Oni Lorcan. Oh no! And the referee's oh, done again. Oh wait, wait, wait! What? Aha! Ha ha ha, we got the mist from Tazawa. I guess that's what he was going for. Maybe that's, he was just trying to talk to the referee to distract him a little bit. That had to have been it there. He's trying to distract him so that he could get the mist ready. And he finally did. Maybe that's why he did the springboard to the outside so that he could actually get the mist. Maybe he had a poke underneath the ring. Jumping in Zaguri from Akira Tazawa. And now we can only imagine he's going for his senton. Can he hit it? Nails it! Oh dear. Are we gonna see a new United States crown? By the way, it's a new champion, but right now it is Akira Tazawa. Your new Ooh. and first ever United States champion. Very impressive. Very impressive. I mean, it took the poison mist in order to take down Carl Anderson, so don't put him down like that. That's a very that, was good a, that was a hard fought match. There was a lot of back and forth action there, Astro. But ultimately, Akira Tozawa took advantage with the Poison Mist, that beautiful spinning kick, the Senton, and the 1 2 3. Question is, does he have to defend that championship on Sunday? Most likely. Could be the shortest title reign in, in UCB history as well. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching tonight. Akira Tozawa, your new United States champion. We're back this weekend with TLC.